On this 500 gallon fuel trailer I'm building, the uh, hub caps, I forgot what they're actually called, grease caps, got damaged in shipping. So I have new ones that I ordered and I need to put them on, but I do not have the proper tool that slides over this to drive it on this little uh, lip here. I have in the past just taken a punch and gotten away with you know, just driving on that little lip and going clear around in circles and getting them on correctly, but since this is for a customer, I'm going to do it right, and I don't want little punch marks all over this cap. So I'm going to build a tool real quick, I hope. Um, I tried finding a piece of pipe that fit over this correctly, and I don't have anything anywhere close. So I'm just going to roll a piece of strap iron real quick, and we'll use this little Harbor Freight ring roller here. Um, Glenn sent this to me, and this is my first time actually using it, so really appreciate you sending this to me, Glenn. This thing's pretty cool. So, And yes, there should be a video on the build of this fuel wagon, fuel trailer. I keep saying fuel wagon all the time. I don't know. I think it's what most people call it around here, actually. Uh, but no promises on that, because I'm way behind on all my videos and all that, so... Someday, in the future, hopefully, you will see a video on this. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> oh, the knob is broken here, and that happened in shipping. So, one of the things I need to do is build a knob. And I was actually going to do that on the mill. But now that I have the CNC plasma cutter, I think I might try making a fancy knob on the plasma cutter one of these days. I've been looking for a lot of little projects like that just for, you know, learning how to use it. I figure out how much strap iron I need. I can measure this and take that times pi, right? Figure it all out. Or I can do this little trick. Make myself a little mark. Starting point. There, I'll put a little bit of line up on this side too. That way you can see it better in the camera. Set it to the edge of the strap iron. Well, right after I put the hubs on the axle, the grease caps there, I realized that I made a mistake in this layout of this piece. And since I don't have the hubs to refilm this, you're going to notice it's different. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is what I should have done. I should have taken my slide square and marked the end like that, because that's how you're going to end up cutting off. And then, I'll just go over here, I guess. And then, done the whole rolly thing. And gone the width of the uh, square again. Does that make sense? So I would have cut it right there. So, once I roll it, I'll end up cutting off this flat and this flat. So I take it out of the middle. That would have made a lot more sense. And then I would have these lines here as guidelines of what the actual length should be. there. That's going to still be way too big. Oh yeah. Whew. I think if I did this again, and I thought about it, and I should have done it, but I just wanted to use this thing to see how well it worked. I should have got the compact bender and bent this in as tight of a circle as I could first. I like working stuff. Whew. 
something's getting looser too. Ugh. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is cut off the flats and roll a little bit more. Yeah, where's my bandsaw? Where'd I set it down at? Now, this is getting the tedious part because. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of hard to get it started in there again. I did some play in here. My circle isn't quite true on the sides here, so I'll have to push that over just a little bit. But, nah, eh. Nah. I got it one of these chain, mm, I don't even know what you call it, chain clamp thingies. I really like these chain clamps. They're really nice for hanging on the pipe. I use them a lot on site, actually, building corral. But anyway, that's a really good fit. That was one of those times when you don't have enough hands. But it's finally able to get it on there. So I think you see what I did. And then I'll just put a tack weld, spot weld right out here, just as close as I can get it. That ain't bad. Not that you can tell from over there. Yeah. Just not quite working. But that's okay because this side fits. So I'll put the handle on this side. I was just looking through my scrap heap to see if I had anything close to this size. And on that hydraulic auger conversion thing, this is the circle cutout from the motor. motor bolted into. That is pretty darn close. <laughs> Weld that on there. Touch it up with the grinder a little bit. Perfect. setting this thing upright. Uh, as in correctly, not upright. Upright. Mm. Uh. Okay, I've had enough trying to find the center of this thing and get this thing straight. I'm drilling a one inch hole through this and That'll give me something to reference it off of. Should've just done this to begin with. <sighs> All 
Alright, I'm gonna make sure this is square. I use my one inch, uh, use my one inch end mill holder, pushed it in with that, and I thought I had the camera running already, so you missed it. Sorry, I don't know why I shut off the camera. I don't even know if I did, but I went to check on it and it was off, so. Anyway, that's what I did, is pushed it in real easy that way. So, that should be square with this bend face. So, now I'll go put the weld to it. Okay, I stuck this thing back in the one inch end mill holder because I want to show you that I actually got it true. So I come down here and run it just above the vise as reference. That is running really, really, really true. I'm very happy with that. Little side to side there, but that ain't gonna hurt nothing. I think that's actually where the flat spot is. But up and down, this face here, that's what I care about. And that's running true. And obviously it doesn't really matter that much anyway. So, awesome. So what I'd really like to do to this thing is actually uh, heat it and dunk it in vegetable oil like I did that carriage indicator holder. I really like that finish. All right, a couple of welder berries in there. I didn't see earlier when I was looking at it. Okay, that is such a good stinking fit. Oh man. Uh. Uh, let's see, I need to be on the other side of yeah, here because it'll work better if I'm over here. Because I'm a righty. Perfection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, was it worth the, uh, well, that was pretty much an hour to build that tool. Most of that time was spent around trying to get my handle on straight, but definitely worth not having dented grease caps on there. Customer will like that a lot better. So anyway, there's a long way to make a piece of pipe. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this. Maybe you got a couple tips out of this. Crazy way to make a pipe.